Okay, where am I? Nah, it's not important. Somebody want to talk to me. We're not going to show a face. A very touchy issue. And I'm looking at that bridge. I'm supposed to think maybe this guy that I'm with that taught once with mine to jump up. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, we'll call you Tim. How's that? Okay. So Tim, you contacted me last night via email. Yes. I was a little bit worried here. I didn't know. You see, you're, you're really paranoid with these hitmans. Uh, and that's why we're in the deep woods here. No, not deep woods. It's pretty scary, though. Anyway, never mind that. I have ADHD. You gotta follow me. So, you come out with a statement. How, by, by the way, how, how did you find, find my blog? I knew about you. You're a known blogger in the city. Mm hmm. And your issue is a touchy one. And it's the famous. Carl Toft. Carl Toft. Were you in jail? Uh, no, I never served time. Never served time. But you were a good Boy Scout. I was a Boy Scout in 1972 on the Woodstock Road. That's where it was? That was where it was. And how long did you stay in the Boy Scout? I was there two years, three years. Two or three years? Yes, I, as far as I can recall. It's quite a time back, two or three years. Was it fun? It was a good time. How many kids? Oh, there must have been 15, 15, 15 10, 15, 15 kids there. So, 72, then you came face to face with Carl. Yes. What was the first time? Uh, it was always at the Boy Scout den. Uh, he'd lead me out to the, the camper, and uh, that's when he'd do his... Uh, whatever he does best and that's why he is where he is now and he's released now huh? he is released the wind excuse me one second there I, just want, I, don't, I don't want the wind to disturb the audio he's released and this is 2012 it is and uh why why you want to come out with i've been trying story? i've been trying to come out with it i was uh i was at the rcmp in 2000 i think that's what it was i did a an interview with them. Mm -hmm. I went out west later on mm -hmm. and they phoned me while I was out there and they told me they weren't opening a bad can of worms, they didn't have enough or etc etc on it. I think they know more than what they're telling. The RCMP? Are you trying to tell me the RCMP are, are hiding? I don't know. Are I, can't, I can't say they are, I can't say they're not, but they wouldn't, they, they told me that they weren't going to continue this. Uh, why 2000? How come you didn't go in 1970, uh, 1970s or 80s or 90s? Carl Toff told me never to say anything. It was always laid in the back of my mind, fear. And uh, I just I just never opened up to it. I, 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 I was always in fear. Really? Said, what did he do, if you don't mind I ask? He abused me. He, he made me do acts on him. Uh, he did acts on me. Did you tell your parents? Uh, no, it was a secret. Secret behind the curtain. Secret behind the curtain. And how long? A lot of... A lot of uh... This went on quite a few times, yeah. It, I don't know. I can't give you a number. Uh, it happened a few times. Yes, at the Boy Scouts den on the Woodstock Road. How old were you then? Uh, I think I was 11. 11 years old. And... Did you know it was wrong then? No, not really. I felt uncomfortable with it. It didn't feel like I, I didn't feel like I was in the norm with it. But at the same time, I didn't know for sure what was going on. I was only 11. You know, I was just a boy. Did he do it with other boys too? Do you think? I have no idea. I no. would suspect. I, I I don't know. I can't say. No other Boy Scout has come forward and talked to me about it. Did you say that the CBC made a show on this? They did do a show on it in 2011. What was it? Never seen it. Uh, I'm not sure. It was just a, uh, an inquiry in on the King's Clear and Boy Scouts. More activity going on. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't know. That's why I'm. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Married? I was. It was. This episode affect you. Stupid uh, it, question, it, but. It, 
it'll never go away in my mind. It'll never go away. It always flashes back. I can see the the. I can still see his eyes, the the evilness in his eyes. Today, I can just see it in my mind. Did you try to go and meet him? Uh, you're, no, you're never. a grown man now. You could punch him across the head. Never. I don't want to see him. No. No. Absolutely not. They uh, they sent him. They sent him while I was out in Edmonton. Well, you they, were in Edmonton. Yeah, I was in Edmonton at the time. The phone call was made when they denied anything and they weren't going to carry it on. And then they sh they sent him out to the halfway house out there. They didn't inform me. They didn't notify me. They didn't do anything, knowing that Carol Toft had abused me. I'm sure they do, but they they just don't want to get into the red tape. Somebody that's abused. I've never been abused, sexually abused. I've been abused, but not sexually. Um, should the RCMP at least investigate this? I think they should. I, I but they, they, they seem to uh, close doors on, on things they don't want to uh, discuss. Because the RCMP were involved in, in Kingslayer. I'm sure they were. I'm yeah. sure they were. Well, I mean, they had to. They had in, to. Yeah. I mean, Fredericton was the biggest pedophile city in the world. People were flying in from all around all around the world, and they had kids behind bars, you know, and they'd bring these kids inside a room and give them a couple of joints and a couple of drinks, and I mean, that, that's a known fact. But then you have, somebody had, has got, had to bring those kids out from the jail. But anyway, that's another story. So, uh, you suicidal or thoughts or just driving you crazy? I mean, I, I've had thoughts of it in the years past, but I mean, I'm still here today, so obviously it couldn't have been too strong. Uh, it's just distraught me that he, he, would do, he would do that. I mean, I was a member of the Boy Scouts and, you know, in good standing, and he was an adult, and he took advantage of, of it all. And even the people there that were at the scout den, the leaders, they all they knew that he uh, he he was he was uh, gay or uh, whatever you want to call it, and they elected to keep him in. So you're saying our leaders in Fredericton, the Boy Scout, should also be investigated. Well, I'm not saying that I don't know I, if the, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess I don't, I, I guess, yeah, I, I don't know. I was, I was 11 at the time. Okay. So I don't know. All I know is that they had a meeting and they decided and elected to keep them. That's all I know. Okay. I don't know whether they knew anything that was going on or anything. Uh, you know, I, I don't. Okay, but, but, or, or I'd, I'd have the answers. Been to the, I'm not a fan of the cops here in Fredericton, they're a bunch of idiots. Uh, have you went, went to see them? No. No. So you went to the RCMP, but the RCMP doesn't want to open a can of worm. Uh, no. When's the last time you went to see them? In 2000. 2000. If somebody contacts me through this video, you want to uh, tell your story to to the police? I would tell it. Uh, I would tell my story as long as my name wasn't uh, uh, advertised like on a billboard in the on the on the highest building in the city. I mean, you know, I'm the one that was abused here, and I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to lie about. Or Why hide? I'm I'm not hiding. Why not show your face? I don't want to show my face. I, I don't believe that I need to show my face. <coughs> I was a member of the Boy Scouts in 72. I don't sit around and tell lies and I don't make things up. No, I'm a good, uh, I'm, a, I'm a professional when it comes to be a judgmental character and I don't see you as lying. And, uh, and why would I go do a, a statement with the RCMP knowing that there, was, there would be repercussions if I were lying? Money. 
money. Money. Yeah. So the Boy Scouts, something like that. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would cross the mind that somebody wanted some money. Oh yeah, that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's uh, people say some stories to get to get money. Do you need money? You know what I mean? Or is it just to clear clear your mind? Well, we all we all need money in life to live, but resolution to this or uh, uh, closure to this is is good too. So Carl Taloff and Boy Scout leaders that close their eyes or turn their head. I think the police should investigate this. Well, I think they should do a little more in on it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, there's. I, I'm sure there's. There's uh, a lot more out there. A lot more out there that haven't come forward. I don't think it's going to be ever ending. Uh, at all. Final thought. Just closure. Closure. I want. I want closure in this. Uh, I want. I want Carol Toff to at least be stand up and uh, what part of man he's got in him, if he's got any man at all left in him, to admit that he did do this to me. What's he got to lose? He's an old man. It's funny how he knows these people have the code of silence. The politicians were involved, everything, but there's a code of silence there. You see, and another thing too, okay, is that Weldon Raymond, who was a Kingsclear guard at the time Carl Toft was up there at Kingsclear, I, he, uh, Raymond, Weldon Raymond, stayed at my grandmother's house, okay? I used to go over on the weekends, so there was the tip right there. They would, they would talk back and forth. Who's him? Weldon Raymond. Who's who, him? Who, he was a Kingsclear guard. Was he? Yes. And so was Carl Toft. And I was affiliated with the Boy Scouts, and Carl was uh, affiliated with the Kingsclear and Boy Scouts, and Ray, Weldon Raymond was a guard up there, and they both, I'm sure, talked back and forth. Was he, was he charged him? Uh, I don't know if, I think Weldon Raymond was, a, I, I'm not sure if he was a charged, charged or not. Uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, like, this is why I'm trying to find answers uh, to, to all this. And he's dead now, I do know that. Oh, he's, he's dead. He is dead now. Weldon Raymond is dead. So you plan to maybe get some justice, get some closure out of this? Well, I'm hoping I'm going to get closure. What do you think of bloggers? I think they're good. How come the early media don't cover stuff like this? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm, I really don't. Because <coughs> the Daily Queen are supposed to be part of the community. I have no idea. All I know is that I've been... I, I, they've, they've, they've shoved me out the back door and closed it and locked it. Listen, hang in there. Oh, don't hang, but I mean... Hang in there. All I can do is persevere and hope that, that it'll all work out. Thanks. Okay, there we go.